This episode's FTR shoutout goes to Cannon Walker. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Yo, what up? It's your boy Chris. Welcome back to another episode of Fish Tank Rev. All right, so last week I had to wipe this computer and I thought to myself, I should share this. I should document it and share it with you guys because I've had so few. You. That's right, we back at it again. By the way, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I've seen a lot of comments being like, yo, bonus content on Wednesday. Chris uploaded on a Wednesday, let's go. I've been uploading on Wednesdays for like the past year and a half or, or like two years. <laughs> so, And usually uh, right now, at least for my schedule on Fridays, I upload a shorts just to, you know, keep it quick. I know you guys got, you know, things to do on Friday. If you don't, you got other videos to watch. I'm considerate like that, man. Like y'all don't have to spend all your attention on me. You know what I'm saying? I've been trying to spice up some Wednesday uploads. I've been doing some skits. I've been doing some story time, but I'm planning to do more aquascaping, more vlogs for you guys. Let me know how that that sounds in the comment section below. By the way, if you haven't noticed, Millie's not here, Rapashi's not here, they're both sleeping, Rapashi's doing a big snooze. Millie was playing with my sister all morning, so now she's tired AF, she's taking a little afternoon nap. I kinda wanna take an afternoon nap too, but I'm out here recording for you guys, all right? I mean, it's just gonna be me this time. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm the host though, I should be good enough for y'all. <laughs> Why do you even tune in? Come on, it's for me, right? Man, it do be like that. Sheesh, bro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean... That's ridiculous. That's actually ridiculous. That's so sad. It's got, oh, more fish keep coming up. I thought it was just two fish. Of course, when I say just two fish, keep in mind they're probably the bigger species. They get huge, apparently, like tangs. Man, I'm not gonna pretend I know anything about saw otter, but I do know that this is like a billion times too small. This is so distressing to watch because this is like the this is like the salt, salt water equivalent version of someone doing a perfect, beautiful aquascape with live plants in a fishbowl and then putting like goldfish or betta fish or a lot of tetras in it. It's like, yes, you're a great aquascaper, but what did you do with the stocking? I don't understand how you came to that conclusion in the first place. This is the same thing. I'm pretty sure those corals and those frags and like zoas, like this is stacked. This is like a reefer's dream bowl minus all the fish maybe you could have a cleaner shrimp actually i don't know those cleaner shrimp those marine ones they get pretty huge i think maybe one of those like decorative like small little clown shrimps that wave their hands around like this genuinely disturbing who in their right mind believes fish that naturally lives in the ocean would be comfortable in this thing it's like keeping a horse in your garage more like keeping a horse in your closet it's like keeping a grown chicken in an egg that's brutal that aquascape is sick but the fish looks sicker <laughs> pretty much my whole point in one sentence with some comedic humor comedic humor really spotted on facebook marketplace i think this is the worst i've seen according to the post there are fish in there somewhere bruh the calcium calcification of the water it just looks old like everything's calcified it's like the flying dutchman and, and the the guy what's his name he's got like stuff growing on his skin orlando bloom's dad in the movie it's been a while man it's been a hot minute at this point why don't you just take it down you know make sure the fish get to go home and just take a break maybe you'll come back to the hobby one day but nothing's gonna change if you just keep your stuff like this and look at the state of the rest of their house there's a whole rack of like dirt in front of their piano so you know their piano it's not getting used because how are you even going to access that and you got boxes on the couch which is right next to this really dirty fish tank you know most people they either have their fish tank super well planted super aesthetic and the rest of their house is in uh, kabombles or they have a dirty ass fish tank that they just got on a whim but the rest of their house has always been kept very clean this one is like no screw those two possibilities we hid in the house and hid in the fish tank up guys the sponsor of this video is none other than you guys for smashing that like button and also considering supporting this channel on patreon become the pillars of this channel
but only if you can afford two dollars supporting a youtuber there's a lot of perks in return for you as well please go check that out also just before we end the sponsored section did you know that you can save up to 10 percent on your next aquarium plant purchase just go into the description below look for the affiliate link and use code fft to save 10 percent on your whole order hey man 10 percent stacks up in the long run so why not start using that now pet score submission by dobek aqua designs i think we've seen this guy before and this is a beautiful fluval flex really flexing on us here with those beautiful live plants looks like hygrophila racing up to the top and you're keeping it nice and tidy it's not an overgrown forest jungle look which i do appreciate but you know it's good to also have some clarity have some organization the hardscape is okay it's a little bit subdued and blocked by the plants which is you know not the worst thing but it'd be a little nicer to be embedded within the planting itself or have the plants embedded within your hardscape a really light stocking but i don't know about the choice because they're black skirt tetras and they need a lot of room to swim so in the future i would suggest maybe guppies maybe one single bed of fish something that's not you know dither fish something that's not streamlined made to swim in open waters overall 4.25 out of 5 keep it up definitely nothing can go wrong with this not a thing none nada zilch zero great design very safe and good for the fish too oh bravo Bravo. Pepper, who is a mod for the Fish for Thought Discord server, you could not have been more accurate with this. I see absolutely nothing wrong, and in fact, I don't know why nobody's doing this yet. This is gonna be the next trend on TikTok. <laughs> Notice how they had to use clip art fish because they wouldn't live long enough for a picture. Bro, Ginger Man, you savage, but you right. You right though, 100%. Me when my plants start taking over my tank. You get a portion, you get a portion. That's right, when we are wealthy with something, we start becoming more, you know, nice and charitable. When you got a limited supply of something, you always feel a little more uh, stingy. I was about to say cringy. And this works with money as well. If you have more money, you probably donate more to charity. If you have less money, you're kind of like, hey man, I gotta pay the rent for myself first before I worry about that stuff. Of course, not all of this applies to every single person. For Christianity, it's actually kind of the opposite. Like, the less you have and the more you give, that means the the better person you are. And I don't think that's uh, limited to Christianity. I think that's just uh, logic. That's just basic facts. Like if you are so abundantly blessed uh, and you give $10,000 away and that's like one-tenth of your whole, uh, uh, you know, worth, how much are you really sacrificing there? But if you only have $10,000 and you give away 5000 yo, that's 50% of your worth, man. What the hell? Big ups. In reality, it's so difficult to do that. That's why there's a thinking out there where it's like, I wish I was wealthier so that I can be more charitable and a nicer person. What they're actually saying is, I'm not one of those nice people who would be nice even if I'm not as blessed. Anyways, isn't this fish tank review? What are we doing? Pet score submission by Franix. What a cool name. Really rolls off the tongue. Franix, bro. All right, chill. I don't have Rapashi or Millie to ground me today for this episode. The lighting, dynamic. I really do enjoy this kind of lighting where it's like, I don't know if you did it purposely or if, you know, if by accident your lighting just can only spotlight a certain place, but a central spotlight is pretty nice. However, I have to say you didn't really use it to your advantage here. I think it could have been done a little better, but I do appreciate that the plants are all concentrated in the spotlight, whether that's again on purpose. The stocking is quite light. I'm seeing maybe a few Tetris, nope, guppies maybe? It could be a female bed of sorority tank as well. Yeah, for now, 3.75 out of five, keep it up. Judging intensifies. Friend, does he attack me worse? He judges you. <laughs> Not the only one to feel judged by your bed of fish. They do got that mean muggin look going on, that resting bee phase. The bonus secret comment of this episode is rockscape. I'd be scared too if I got placed into a 25 gallon tank at most with 17 other fish. Man, that fish freaked the hell out, dude. Oh. That's a pleco. It looked like artificial decor in the back because of all the other artificial decor, but that's a, I was gonna say full grown pleco, but judging by the size of these goldfish, that pleco is not even halfway done growing. That's gonna get at least two times, 2.5 times bigger. And so are these goldfish. That one looks like it's about to go real soon. How unfortunate. There's many more pictures as you can see on the bottom reel. I'm not gonna watch any of them because that's just, that's just torture. Pet score submission by Kaloob's Crazy Knacks. This is a pretty simple aquascape, simple fish tank. You got the artificial plants, but you got some natural looking hardscape, natural woodscape, and an axe 
axolotl. The axolotl do be looking a little bit skinny. I don't know, axolotl experts, what's going on here. I have heard that it could be especially tedious and hard to be feeding your axolotls uh, properly and making sure they're eating and well fed because they're not the greatest eaters. They could be pretty clumsy and maybe picky as well. A 2.9 out of 5, keep it up. My girlfriend's grandfather's tank. This looks like somebody's grandfather's tank. No cap. The fish in there are blind. The water is yellow. The water is orange, actually. It matches the color of the goldfish. This is in a gumball machine. I believe it. This is your, your girlfriend's grandfather's tank. It's somebody's grandfather's tank. I don't know why the goldfish got cataracts. This is really like the pets match the owner. You know you are allowed to keep fish properly and beautifully in a well-planted tank, very healthy. Even if you're higher up in age, there are even very really good examples on YouTube and they are masters at the trade, so there is no excuse. My fish when I lift open the lid to their tank. My fish when they see the tank cleaning supplies. <laughs> Yo, jabated homie. It's a prank, bro. Lamau, so true. They get all excited when I approach the tank. They get all excited when I'm like doing things with my hand, lifting it up above the tank and like, food, food. And then they see the siphon or they see the scraper or they see that magnet thing and they're like man man's out here trying to try to bait us homie yeah he really out here doing this again pet score submission by kjan is that anubius yo don't tell me that's anubius that would be amazing that's I'm inclined to believe that's Anubius. That means your humidity in your room is actually a considerably high, I would believe, for Anubius to survive like that immersed. No freaking way, that's amazing. The scape itself is not bad. You got more live plants in there. You got a centerpiece uh, wood with some rock scape as well. Looks like a fertilized substrate, maybe a dirted substrate. Very clean glass, very clean lights as well, and a clean filter. I don't see any stocking, um, so it's probably understocked. Maybe a solo bed of fish. This is beautiful, this is nice. And of course, my favorite the highlight of this scape is the immersed anubius growth if it's not anubius and i just been hyping over the wrong plant oh, screw me right 4.45 out of 5 keep it up people who hate my videos impossible Aw, oh, thank you. I got a few comments on that video saying, who's out here hating Chris's videos? What is he even talking about? There was another comment saying, next, Chris will tell us that he's met Sasquatch. <laughs> I appreciate it guys, thank you so much. But you know what? Haters are a sign of the times that, you know, you're to the next step of the process. You've reached another beacon of success when you get haters. Guys, welcome to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching all the way through till the end, pushing the algorithm and helping this channel reach new heights. I really appreciate the support you've been showing me and this channel, and I still can't believe how much we've grown as a community. So, geez, man, thank you guys. The secret comment of this video is Woodscape. Look for the bonus secret comment somewhere else in this video. If you enjoyed, please smash that like button and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin dot, acclimate that. With my shoal act, hear my fin rot from Carisiformis to Parachirodon. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Live fam says, I finna one, I finna gone. Three days without furt, I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang, so loyal, black tetra, go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.